Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science Technical Tour. This tutorial will show you the basic search and navigation features of the updated Allen Mouse Brain Atlas resource. To get to this atlas from our portal page, click on the Mouse Brain button, or from any of our web pages, click on the Mouse Brain tab. With the March 2012 release, you will be taken to the About tab, which describes this resource, but we will get started with the search features on the ISH Data tab. If you know the gene you would like to find expression information for, type the gene name or identifier in the text box and click Search. If you have a list of genes, you can use the bulk search feature by selecting this radio button. I'm going to spend a little time on the differential search feature, as this is a valuable tool to discover enhanced gene expression in a brain structure or area. You can choose from a pre-calculated large structure by clicking on a category in the tag cloud or you can choose from 75 manually curated smaller structures by first selecting the Find Structure radio button and selecting from a drop-down menu. To start a differential search, first select the target structure or structures by selecting from the drop-down menu. Click this icon once you are finished selecting your target structures. You can select a contrast structure or structures the same way, or you can use the default whole brain as your contrast structure. When you click the search button, a list of genes will be returned that match your search criteria. If you click on a gene name, you can preview gene expression in a 3D view here. This image shows a three-dimensional structure of the brain in gray and white, with gene expression in color within the structure. You can view this gene's expression more interactively with our three-dimensional Brain Explorer viewer by clicking this link. I invite you to visit our Brain Explorer tutorial to learn more about that resource. More detailed experimental information is available by clicking the experiment link. The experiment detail page includes metadata as well as links to other Allen Institute projects on this gene, a 3D thumbnail view of gene expression, and an image viewer of the entire experiment. The thumbnails at the bottom of the image viewer allow you to select a section to view, and the selected image in the main viewing area can be panned and zoomed in for greater detail. Zoom with the mouse wheel or with the A and Z keys. To allow you to interpret the data, you can view an expression mask, which subtracts out the background signal and represents expression in cool or low expressing colors to hot or high expressing colors. You can also open up your current image in a high resolution image viewer in another window by clicking this icon. In the high resolution image viewer, you can again pan and zoom the image you can use the scale bar to measure distances in the image, and you can download the image as a JPEG file to your computer. Also on the experiment detail page is a histogram that provides quantitation of gene expression. Twelve large structures are represented on this histogram, and when you mouse over the structure, gene expression values are indicated here. We also provide you with the information required to create your own in-situ hybridization probes should you wish to repeat this experiment in your own system. Back on the search result page, you'll notice a gene link. Clicking this link will take you to the experiment detail page of all the experiments for this particular gene. Once you've found a gene of interest, you may want to find other genes with similar expression patterns. This is accomplished using the Neuroblast search. Once a gene has been selected, clicking search will return a list of genes matching your selection criteria with similar expression profiles as your gene of interest. You may want to explore the expression patterns of several genes at the same time. To do this, select your genes by clicking the checkboxes next to the experiment you'd like to view and press View Selections. In the window that opens, I recommend adding reference atlases to the selected genes, like so. You can customize your workspace by moving image viewers into more appropriate positions. When you've found an image that shows interesting gene expression, you can utilize the sync function from this icon here to synchronize all the other windows to that brain region. By having included the reference atlases, you can see that GPR-161 is expressed selectively in area CA1 and the subiculum of the hippocampus. PROX1 expression doesn't show as obvious a pattern, and utilizing the expression mask feature again shows that selective yet lighter expression resides in the dentate gyrus. If you are unfamiliar with the abbreviations on the reference atlas, you can launch an interactive legend browser with the key icon on the reference atlas image viewer. 
In the Legend Browser, you can search for structures, you can zoom and pan like the other viewers, and areas of interest are highlighted in the image as well as the ontology list when selected. Thank you for taking this tour. To get started, please go to our portal page at www.brain-map.org.